After the sheets are nailed off and the bucks are in, we have to air seal everything. The, the exterior structural sheathing plane is what will be our air barrier for this house, and that can vary house to house. What we're using to, to complete our air sealing of our air barrier is Prosoco Fast Flash, and this in this case, seam. this is joint and seam, which has a larger amount of fibers and some other things for, for it to be able to span larger gaps. With this product, we choose to use the sausage gun, the professional caulk gun, and although this isn't a caulk, it's a sealant, um, because it, it leaves us with very little waste. Um, when you're done, you're not throwing a big tube of caulk away, you just have this teeny little piece right here. That, and that, you know, much less waste, lighter shipping costs, smaller volume of shipping, all together seems like a better idea. The reason we use this is that it, it works in a semi-wet environment. That doesn't mean you can use it in puddles, but it certainly performs much better than a tape. Many builders are using tape in this situation, but as you can see, the weather might not be so good for using tape today. And what we do is we just apply it and then tool it and make sure that it has adhered to the both members that it needs to. In this case, we're doing an inside corner joint and we're also doing flat joints at every plywood seam. So we just get in here and just pull it down and it just gives us a nice, clean, smooth joint there. And come back and I like to make sure that we've got good adhesion everywhere. And it's important to take your time with this and make sure that it's done right because it's going to be a lot easier to do it now than when this thing's 20 feet in the air and you're on a ladder. And that's a pretty good looking joint. This specific product is moisture cured. Um, in this colder weather, it may be a, a slower cure time or a longer cure time than, than otherwise, but it, it will, when, the, when it warms up a little bit, cure and, and do its thing. With our air barrier, as I talked about before, we, have to, we also have to not only seal where our bucks intersect with our structural sheathing, but also every seam of the structural sheathing gets the same exact joint and seam on it and about a strip two or three inches wide making sure that it that it's thick enough to span this gap. This could have some ramifications because your inspector will want to see the uh, shear nailing here and so you'll have to build up a good trusting relationship with your inspector to make sure that he a trusts you or to have a plan in place of either taking photos of your shear nailing or, or other things. You might not have to worry about this depending on your location. Also, on a side note, compressed air is key to building these houses as far as is, is what we found out here. Um, you know, this, the fast flash is uh, pretty good at adhering to wet surfaces, but this makes sure that none of the dirt or anything is there. So I'll go through first and kind of blow it off. This requires at least a wheelbarrow size compressor that can push, you know, six to 12 CFMs. And also when you do that, you'll want an inline air filter to make sure that nothing coming out of this air is going to interact or react with the uh, flashing materials.